1965, U.S. Mint removed all silver composition from the Roosevelt dime. As the price of silver became more expensive, the Mint decided to strike circulating coinage out of much cheaper alloy. Therefore, in 1965, the Mint struck clad Roosevelt dimes for the first time. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, clad dimes appear to have been struck in similar quality to that of 1960s silver dimes, since examples in MS66 are readily available but still scarce. In MS67 condition and higher, they are really scarce for both silver and clad circulation strike dimes from 1960s. When it comes to full bands or full torch, PCGS has graded less than 100 coins in total with FB designation in all grades combined. Today at Mint 68, those dimes with full bands are worth over $3,850 as for PCGS price guide. Hey everyone, as you understand, today we're talking about super valuable Roosevelt dimes struck in 1965. So hit subscribe and bell buttons below this video and let's get started. Facing a coin shortage and rising price for silver, US Mint switched to a clad composition in 1965 as I mentioned earlier. Therefore, presence of slip-ups in terms of wrong planchet is something natural, but yet such errors are extremely rare and worth thousands of dollars today. Even at circulated grades, they make good premium. Therefore, check the edge of 1965 dimes for copper-colored stripe. If it's not there, then boom, you have super valuable silver dime in your hands. You can distinguish them by slight difference in their weight as well. Those struck on silver have 2.50 grams of weight, while clad dime has weight of 2.27 grams. This is one of the most valuable wrong planchet dimes of 1965, rare transitional alloy error coin at mid stage 62. The luster is lightly toned surface that resembles that of typical uncirculated clad dime, except the edge lacks the telltale red stripe, characteristic of modern alloy, sold on September 6. 2019 for $9,000 at Heritage Auctions. As I told you before, wrong planchet dimes are valuable even at circulated condition. For instance, this 1965 silver dime was graded at about uncirculated 58 condition by NGC. This near mint dime has hints of almond gold toning and has a single intermittent linear mark on the upper reverse. Sold on September 10th, 2019 for $8 to $400 at Heritage Auctions. The 1965 dime with full bands at mid stage 68 are highly elusive. This is 1965 dime, one of three fine specimens that set grade with FB designation reported by PCGS. The design elements show razor sharp definition throughout and both sides radiate vibrant mint luster with a few hints of pale gold toning. I appeal is tremendous and technical quality approaches perfection. Sold on March 21st, 2013 for $3,818.75 at Heritage Auctions. 